I'm making the chicken salad quilt by Lori Holt and I have already traced around all of the chicken simple shapes onto printer paper and then scanned those pages into the Brother Scan and Cut and I'm about to put together Henry Etta for the week of March 14th, 2022. And this is a cute one because she's nesting on her little eggs. If you're not sure what I'm doing or how I'm going to go about doing this, I'll link to a video right up for Hattie, our very first chicken. And I go real slow and step by step on that video to explain the entire process. So to build Henrietta, I'm going to come into the Canvas workspace. This is canvasworkspace.brother.com. And I'm going to go to my projects. And in here we can see all of the chickens that I've made and the pieces that I have scanned in for various projects this far. The body for Henrietta is this one right here, M32. This is the shape M32. And when you hover over this, you get a button for editing or downloading. And I'm going to edit first so I can get some placement of where things need to go. I'm going to go ahead and click the edit button and that brings her up on the mat. I'm just going to put her over here to the side for right now and now I need to get the other pieces that go along with her build and to do that there's a menu over here and I'm going to choose my projects. I'm looking at the sewing guide that is linked below this video. It comes from Lori Holt's blog to give me an idea of what the pieces look like that I'm after and I need to pull those up. As I scanned all these in, I used sequential numbering method like this one right here where the tooltip says M1 through 4, 13, 21, and 36. I'm going to need M3 off of this. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 13, 21, and 36. This was just a random order the way they got scanned in. So I'm going to grab this particular piece right here, this whole square, and I'm going to drag it onto my mat. I need M3, which is this one, 1, 2, 3. And I need 36. I'm going to grab this. You saw it said M32 when I hover over it because it has pulled up the entire mat is M32 for her body. And the rest of these I don't think I need. So I am, let me see. Nope, I don't. So I'm going to highlight all of these and hit delete on my keyboard. Make them go away. So I'm going to continue to go through these and get all of the pieces that I need to build Henrietta. Okay, now that I have all of these pieces, I'm going to bring her back in here. And just for me to get a visual idea of how it's going to go, I want to go ahead and align them on her so I get an idea of what she's going to look like. I need to get the beak built. And to do that, I'm going to make this much shorter like this. I'm going to go much bigger. I'm going to click up here on 50%. Make it bigger, maybe just a little bit shorter. This looks good. And I'm going to right click and duplicate. So there are two of them. And this one I'm going to turn this way a little bit. And I think this one I want to turn this way just a little bit. And then I'm going to take this and put the top edge right here. Let me get a little bigger. I want to make sure that this end, and might make it just a tiny bit skinnier, is right in there, just like that. So that looks really good. You want to make sure that this end is tucked up inside of this square. And I'm going to click off. Okay. I'm going to grab the body and move it. And I'm going to take this and highlight them both. Right click and weld. That's going to turn that into one piece like that. I'm going to go ahead and download all of these pieces to the Scan and Cut. I'm just going to put them anywhere on the mat. This one right here, I need to uh, right click and duplicate. 
and on this one I'm going to come up to edit and flip horizontal because we have one that is reversed. So I'm going to put this down here and then this I'm going to go ahead and just um, make the most of these and two, three, four, and we've got these, we have the beak and the nest. So I'm going to download all of these like this to the Brother Scan and Cut. And then I'm going to, I'm going to do two separate runs of the mat through the Scan and Cut. So I'll download this mat, delete the ones that are going to be run on the second cut, and then pull the design up again and run it a second time. But right now for this, this will work just fine to download the entire thing to the Scan and Cut. So all I need to do is go download and click Scan and Cut Transfer and it's ready. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to come over here to M32 up in the corner. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to type in Henrietta and come up to Project and hit the inbox with an arrow with a plus sign. So we're going to save as another project and it says it's complete. I'm going to tell it OK and I'm going to download it again. And now I want to download to PC. This is going to download as Henrietta FCM and it went into my downloads file right there. So I will get that and move it into my chicken salad folder on my um, in my directory structure so that I can pull it up when I'm building Henrietta in Simply Applique. Okay, so we're here at the Scan and Cut and I need to pull up that pattern. When you have the main menu for the Scan and Cut, it says Pattern and Scan and pattern are patterns that are already in the machine when you bought it. To get patterns that you might have sent to the machine or you're going to use from a USB, you will go to retrieve data. So I'm going to click that button and you can get it from either inside the machine if you had a pattern and you saved it to the machine or you can get it from the cloud. See the little radar waves there? That's the cloud. You can get it from a USB or you might be cabled to your computer. I'm going to get it from the cloud and the cloud's going to pull down the very last scan that we sent down. There are all of the pieces that we need to build Henrietta. Okay, so I've got all the pieces here and I think what I'm going to do is just cut the chicken body last on the second run because that's a pretty big piece. So I'm going to touch the body and I'm going to come over here to edit and there's a trash can. I'm going to hit delete and tell it OK. So I'm going to take the nest and object edit. And right here, there, this icon means to rotate. So I'm going to touch that button and rotate 90. That'll work. I'm going to tell it OK. And so I'm just going to start moving things around on the screen where I'm going to put the pieces of fabric so that everything can cut out together. I've got one strip of fabric just for the eggs. Put that all right there. And the wing, I think I'm going to rotate that. So you can just kind of maneuver these around on the screen so that they're going to cut the way you want them to and fit together nicely. Maybe I'll just do the beak and the wattle, or the beak and the comb, uh, the next cut. I'll do that one, click OK, let me get that beak. Now I'm going to put my fabric on the mat and I'm going to scan in the fabric and then get everything to fit right on the fabric. I'm going to put the mat in and snug it up against this corner and hit the load button up here. It's the middle of the three buttons on the panel. and I want to scan the mat. So I'm just going to click OK right here and it takes me back to the menu where we have this blue box. We have this blue box right here with a scan bar across it. That's the mat scanning button. I'm going to touch that until it start. And it's going to pull in the mat and take a picture of the fabric that's on the mat. And 
And now I'm going to move things around so that I can make sure everything's going to cut just fine. So I'm a little short on this fabric here for this nest. Let's get in. I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to take the nest, edit. I'm going to edit object. And I'm going to rotate this. And I'm going to move it maybe 10 degrees out the other way. I, I, it doesn't matter. I need to do it at an angle. One more. And put it. Uh, that's better. Okay. My wings. Move these down. And that looks good. My eggs. Now it's hard to see the eggs on the fabric, so I'm going to tell it okay, okay, and okay. I'm going to come here. Right here, background, I'm going to put this, dark background. Tell it okay. There, now I can see that fabric better. Ooh, I don't know if I've got enough fabric for that or not. I'm going to take a little bit of scotch tape because I'm so close to the edges of the fabric. And I'm going to tape my edges, my little corners down. And that way I make sure nothing's going to move around accidentally. So I, just, I have some left over from the last cut. If you have a whole bunch of fabric and it's, you know, it has a lot of, um, it has a larger footprint on the mat to stick, you don't need to do this. But when you've got short pieces of fabric, it's better safe than sorry to just take some, a little bit of scotch tape and tape them down. I want to make sure that nothing, you know, you don't want that, that blade dragging the fabric around anywhere. Okay, I think this is going to work fine. So I'm going to tell it okay, and okay, and okay, and now we're going to go okay one more time. What you're doing is you're backing out of all those menus that you went into. So I'm going to go to please select and cut, and then start. And it's going to do its thing. So in less than one minute, it's going to cut out all of those pieces for me. I'm using heat and bond side down, fabric side up with the low tack mat. If you're using the purple mat or the gold mat, you will want to do fabric side down, paper side up, leave the paper on. I do. It just keeps the blade from getting gummed up too badly, I think. And you'll want to mirror the image if you're doing it upside down. And there we go. All done. No problems. All four eggs are absolutely perfect. That's great. One, two. These are so cute. I'm using uh, some of her shabby fabric. I thought they would look cute. The eggs will look really super cute in the shabby on this. I'm using the hashtag from her Farm Girl Vintage line for the nest. I just thought that would look really nice. And then the wings are the same fabric that they recommend in the pattern. I have a little tray underneath my cabinet here that holds my extra fabric pieces if I can use them again. The wing oh, cut out just perfect. I couldn't do this myself. There's just no way. These are so nice. Okay, so now I've got those and I'm ready to do the next cut for the body and the rest of the pieces. So let me eject the mat. I'm gonna tell it okay and eject the mat because I need my cabinet here. And I'm going to put down my other fabric for the body. When you do this, you want to make sure your heat bond is really on. See how glassy that is? That's, that's how you want it to look. So you want your heat and bond on there really good so that it stays stuck to the fabric, not come off on your mat. So 
I'm going to load the mat again. I need to pull up the image again, the download, so I'm just going to go to the home button. It's going to say OK to delete all the patterns, and I'm going to tell it OK. And now I'm going to do the same thing we did the first time from the beginning. Retrieve data from the cloud. And again, it pulls down the last design that you sent down. What I'm going to do now, I want to keep the chicken with the comb and the beak. So I'm going to take this and I want to move it over here as much as I can. I'm going to drag all of these things up into the what I've already cut. I'm going to put all these up here. Now I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to hit these three buttons right here for Select All, and it wants to know part of the mat or all of the mat. I want to choose part of the mat, and then I'm going to take my arrows here and drag it over to the edge of the side of the nest and then up right there so that I select just that. So now I've got everything selected that I don't want. I'm going to tell it OK, tell it OK, and hit the trash can and tell it OK. And that leaves me just what I want to cut on my mat. I'm going to take this guy and put it right here. That's approximately where it's at. I'm going to take the comb and put it up here. I'm going to move the body kind of more in the middle of where I think that fabric is. I'm going to tell it OK and hit the scan bar and start. All right, I'm going to go back to my light background. So I'm going to hit the wrench and light background and tell it OK so I can see it. The chicken looks perfect. The comb, I need to move over just a little bit. And the beak, I need to put right in the middle there. And I think that's perfect. I don't need to do any taping, I don't think, so I'm going to tell it OK. And please select, cut, and start. All done. I got a little thread there. There we go. Came right off. That's why I keep scissors on the side. Sometimes you need to reach over and do a little snip. The thread gets stuck. Oh, the body turned out perfect. And the beak is perfect. And her little comb. All right. So now I am ready to go over to the computer and build Hattie and get her digitized in Simply Applique or BES4, whichever software you have. All right, we're all ready to go. Mm -hmm.